there, uh, there is a, another story I wanted to cover tonight, chat. And uh, that is in regards uh, to the Jurassic film franchise. Now, we all knew that, well, apparently we were told, chat, at least I was under the impression that, that oh, Jurassic World Dominion, that's the last of the Jurassic franchise, chat. It's uh, six films, and we're done. We're not moving on. But the thing is, because even I was thinking this for a long time, like, yes, Jurassic World Dominion was critic. It's probably critically the, the, the uh, it's the worst received critically in the Jurassic Park uh, franchise right now. Horribly maligned by both critics and audiences. Despite that, it made close to a billion dollars. The lowest grossing in the world franchise right now. But I think it made like 900 plus million, right? Just slightly shy of a billion dollars. And the last two films did very well. Jurassic World made 1.6. I think Jurassic Fallen King, which also equally terrible, uh, was like, what, 1.2 billion? Like, this franchise is still printing money despite the, the low quality, right? Um, and I thought, okay, well, I, it's funny that you're, you're just going to end this. I always said that, like, okay, they're probably going to let it be dormant for a little while, but then they'll bring it back in five or ten years. Well, Bryce Dallas Howard has been doing a lot of interviews talking about her experience on the uh, Jurassic franchise and how she, you know, there were some frustrations, but things that she loved and, you know, how, how she liked working with other people. But there was one comment that just really stood out to me. And uh, it just kind of opened up a lot of speculation for a lot of people. And it was this comment right here. It's, it's very sad to say goodbye to something so wonderful. Uh, but also, I'm very excited for the folks who will carry the Jurassic saga forward, you know. It'll be with a largely different cast and all that. And that's something that is to be celebrated. I know as a fan that I want to, uh, uh, to see moving forward. And I hope it comes to fruition. I really do. And so, it's like the fact that she's saying like, oh yeah, the Jurassic World franchise is going to be continuing on. Like, that's new to me. But at the same time, I'm not surprised by by any of this news, Chad. Um, you know, it, it did get me thinking. I, I talked about this before when I was doing, like, when we were covering Jurassic World Dominion. I did my, my, my review for the film. Despite that last movie being horrible, I was thinking about, okay, what would the future of Jurassic film franchise look like? And, I've, and people have all their different ideas and things. I mean, at, at this point... I still believe, I still maintain that they should go down the post-apocalyptic dystopian route. Do what Colin Trevorrow, do what Universal, and all the other various filmmakers were afraid to do. That's what they should do. Because one of the, one, the one thing I will, I, I will say positively about uh, Fallen Kingdom, which again is an awful movie. I think it's the second worst in the franchise. Dominion being the worst at this point. But the one thing I do like about that movie, other than the sad brontosaurus that's like, wait for me when they're leaving the island, there's one other scene, or one thing that is like they set up that could be interesting, which is the whole idea of all these dinosaurs on the mainland and the chaos that would ensue because of that. Like, that's an interesting premise to me. I think that's really, really cool. And so it's like, all right, finally, we're going to get that where we have humans and dinosaurs trying to coexist together and it's just not going to work out. It's going to be chaos. It's just like what fucking Ian Malcolm said. You know, oh, it's, it's it, these two species are separated from 65 million years all right are now thrust into the same place in the same world and it's going to be it's going to be monumentally uh, chaotic and literally when we got dominion they apparently figured it all out in 4 years they're like oh yeah now we're just living the dinosaurs it's no problem there might have been maybe 40 dinosaur related deaths in 4 years and you're like you got to be fucking kidding me they 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 they, I don't know, for whatever reason, again, they, they didn't want it to display the dinosaurs in a negative light. I feel like that was the that was the major thing. They didn't want to make them look like they, they wanted to do the whole, no, we just fucking figured it out and kumbaya. And that to me is just, that's that's stupid. You They copped out in the end. You could have set up something that was, that you, you, you could have the audience questioning, like, yeah, maybe the dinosaurs should be wiped out. Maybe they should be brought to extinction again because we cannot live with this species. That would have been really cool. And they went, nah, we just, we just did. How we, but the question is, I was asking, what else was asking? How did we figure this out? How do we all live together? And I went, nah, we just do. And it's like, God damn it. And that's so frustrating. So now, like at this point, they have the opportunity to go in that direction where, okay, yeah, that whole kumbaya, we live side by side, the dinosaurs. It's like, yeah, we have a fucking T-Rex in my backyard. It's fine. He's not going to eat my dog and my family and my children and me. It's going to be okay. Now they can do that. Now they can lean into that, chat. Like, I think it would be cool. This would be my idea for a Jurassic... Uh, um, I mean, you know, maybe I don't know the Jurassic Extinction franchise. You want to call it that, where 
we are now in that Mad Max-esque world. That whole thing with the dinosaurs living by, uh, beside them, that did not work out. They have pro proliferated across multiple continents, and it's basically a uh, cause huge infrastructure issues and now people are living in these walled off communities and cities and the economy is just a complete mess chat you know you have roving bands of of, of people trying to survive while also uh, trying to prevent themselves from being eaten by dinosaurs that's what they should do that's what they should do i think that would be really interesting and then you could have those characters go like fuck that little clone girl and chris pratt and bryce dallas howard and the guy that kept screaming all the time poor justice smith Fuck them, because they unleash this hell upon our world. You know, that's what that's what that future franchise should be. I feel like that's the only way you can make it work at this point, because where else do you go? Where else do you go? You can't go back to the whole idea of the park. You can't go back to the island. You know, you and you and you have to show. I guess the thing that that has always bothered me about these world movies is that there are no fucking consequences for anything that the characters do. At all. Like in the first Jurassic Park, that entire movie's about consequences. Uh, the con what Hammond does, what Nedry does, all those people, you know, they pay for what they, what they have wrought, right? In this movie, you get in the, these movies, you know, Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard and that weird hybrid British dino clone girl, they get away with everything. They get away with even being responsible for the death of those 40 or so people in the last four years. It's bullshit and it's very frustrating. And they only did that because the Colin Trevorrow and those filmmakers didn't want to vilify the dinosaurs. And they didn't want to vilify the fucking heroes. And, 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 that, and, that, and that's the reason. And now they have the opportunity to do something really cool uh, that does expand the franchise in an interesting direction. That is just not doing the same goddamn thing that we have been seeing. So that's what I would do, chap. Post-apocalyptic Mad Max scenario with dinosaurs. There are consequences. Humanity is on the verge of extinction, okay? In this new Jurassic era. That's how I would do it, chap. But that's just me. That's just me. What about you guys? Do you want to see more Jurassic films? Would you be interested in new sequels but set in, in, in a post-apocalyptic dystopian era? I'm very curious. Oh, what are you guys saying? The Elite, good to have you here. Welcome, Elite. The Bronto dice He's like, wait for me. I love what he says running. <laughs> As I said during my review for Fallen Kingdom chat, it's, it's so fucking funny because I just, I just, like the Brontosaurus is representative of the original Jurassic Park film. And then you have all the shitty Jurassic Park movies on the boat just watching it die, just rearing up and dying. It's like, that's what it represented to me. Just the franchise being left behind to be covered in smoldering hot uh, uh, lava and magma and soot and ash, chat. That's what it was. Oh, uh, Aaron, have a great evening. Uh, Jurassic, they could do Fast and Furious. They could go in that direction, too. They could just say, fuck it. Jurassic Park is now a Fast and Furious. They could do that. They could do that. Oh, let's see here. Uh, but they should, of course, they can reboot it with the actual novel story, which is R-rated and probably won't happen. Or a sequel about what happened at the end of Jurassic Park one before Lost World. Ah, kind of like a kind of sequel prequel, if you will. Choose to make that film like Chris said, call it Jurassic World Second Extinction. I would just call it Jurassic Extinction. I would be like, let's just call it Jurassic Extinction. That's what it would be. That's what I would. That's that. That it would be the Extinction uh, trilogy. Let's get new characters. One of the I would I would actually have those characters talk about the old ones and how like yep they did this they brought this fucking hell on us. That's how you gotta do it. How you live the COVID government? I don't know. We just do <laughs> exactly. We just do. That's how it is. <laughs> oh my lord. Rom, good to see you. Rom, hope you're doing well. So Universal's rumored to be negotiating to sell Hulk to Disney for money and access to Disney Marvel literature. That's good. That's good. Uh, Kuzo, let's get Mark Wahlberg and he can talk to you. Of course, he's a scientist. He is a scientist. He's an inventor. I do not want Paul Davis Anderson to direct it. I'd like to see the Mad Max thing. Yeah, I think it'd be cool. I have no freaking idea, says Hamilton. Bill Gates, realistically, a bunch of dinosaurs would be quickly mowed down by the world's militaries. There's Jurassic Park works on. Now, I mean, I get it. You're, you're going to have to, uh, you know, your sense of disbelief, you know, has to be expanded upon. If you're going to be, yes, the whole, listen, the whole idea of dinosaurs coming back is ridiculous. There's no doubt about that. But, you know, let's just say for the sake of just let's have something new. They just proliferate. No, maybe you could do it this way. Like, because I talked about uh, before, like, you're right. That's true. Like, modern military equipment might be able to take all the dinosaurs. But what about for these other countries that can't? do that what about these other countries that lack the economic power the military power and the infrastructure to do something like that and they fall all right 
And so you have that's the thing. You could there's a lot of cool world building and lore that you could establish in the first movie where you could have had these countries that just do not have the infrastructure to handle this and they fall and these dinosaurs continue to fuck and breed and expand everything and it and it devastates the global economy. You have a refugee crisis. You have people coming uh, to all these various cr- countries causing an influx and everything's just falling apart. Like this, then they'll become dystopian. So you, that's what it'd be. It would be dystopian in the quote unquote first world countries, but now everywhere else in the, in the it's sitting in their walled cities and things but everywhere else it's 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 mad max that's what you would do now why are you talking he's not saying i'm talking now i gotta talk it's what i do i'm talking about news and in reviews and stuff i'm talking about jurassic park well my jurassic park movie would be jurassic extinction as i would call it right i mean you can you can do a hard pg-13 you can do a hard pg like the original jurassic park uh, I always looked at it that there was some politician flub in the numbers for the re-election. Jurassic World, like hundreds of thousands have died. Oh, damn it. Oh, is that what you're saying? Okay. Oh, good to have your Naya. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I am live, though. <laughs> bwap, bwap, bwap. I always liked the idea uh, I J J Abrams directing one. What would he do? What would he do in the movie? Oh, you just want him to direct it. It's just Ron plot twist. Samuel Jackson is the villain behind all of it, and he has a bind. That would be really cool. Hold on to your butts. Chris, now that you mention it, time for you to own, uh, for your own brand of Jurassic around 100%. 100%. Now he's sleepy. Down to versus, versus Jaeger. So, uh, well, Mex. Yeah, chat. Also tomorrow Pokemon. Yes, uh, tomorrow is Pokemon discussion. Correct. But yeah, chat, you know, overall, I, I, again, if they are going to continue on with the Jurassic franchise, I want them to do something different. I want them to have consequences. I also want characters who are fucking likable, who aren't selfish or just are just uh, pieces of wood. Like, what was Chris Pratt's character arc in that first Jurassic, in any of the Jurassic movies? Did he change? No. I mean, I will say this: Bryce House, Bryce Dallas Howard's character changed. She's a she's a new character in every film, in every movie. <laughs> she's like, you know. In the first one, she's this press of a stick up her ass who doesn't care about people or dinosaurs or her own family. In the second one, she's now running the largest Save the Dinosaur Foundation ever. And in the, in the third one, she's an eco-terrorist. And we're like, where, where, what an arc. <laughs> we're all over the place with her. Chris Pratt, you know what Chris Pratt does? He does this and he rides a motorcycle. That's all he does. And he adopts the clone girl. That's literally it. Will Chris Brad died? No, who can't? We'll be watching. He might know. In the extinction movies, they would have been dead. They most likely would have been dead. And they would be blamed for what happened uh, during the events of my Jurassic Extinction film. Chris has uncovered the true question of why the fuck did we need Chris? But yeah, what did he do? He did this, and he rode a motorcycle multiple times, and that is it. He did nothing else in those movies. Such a such a such a boring character. A blockable of a character. 